Mele is exploring the sequence of numbers given by the rule 3n squared minus 2n plus 1. Okay, so this is Mele, and she is thinking about numbers. Okay, so the number pattern is a quadratic number pattern. So let me explain what this number pattern means. So you put n as a, any number, say n is 1. Okay, if you put n is 1, you will get 3 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 1. So let's do, so this is 3 minus 2, 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So if n is 2, you can put any number as n. So if, any, if you put n as 2, this is 3 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 1. I hope you can see. So this is 3 times 4, 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. And so on. Number, the sequence goes on. Okay, now the question is, give the rule to, for finding the difference between any two consecutive terms from the sequence that she is thinking of. So, <clears throat> of course, you may not be allowed to use a calculator, but just to show you the number pattern on a calculator the number pattern, so I'm going to type in this equation on the calculator. Oops, so let me show you that. If you go to table, uh, and you type in this equation, so in place of n, I'm going to type in x squared like this, minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so I'll go to from, for set, I'll go from 1 to 5. So let's see the first five numbers. So the first five numbers is, can you see the first number is 2, the second number is 9, and so on. Okay, so these are numbers in this sequence pattern. Okay, so the question is, you want to find the formula or the rule for the difference between two numbers. So let me write the numbers. The numbers are 2, 9, 22, 41, 66. So let me write first. The number patterns are 2, 9, what's the next number? 22, 41, 66. So let's remember 22, 41, 66. 22, 41, 66. So this is a number pattern. Okay, so this is, you can see this is increasing by 7. And uh, so let's understand the pattern first. We want to do this algebraically, but if you don't understand the number pattern, you don't understand algebra. So this is increasing by 7. So this is plus 7. This is increasing by... Uh, 13. This is increasing by 19. Okay, and this is again increasing by 20. Uh, this is increasing, can you see this is increasing by 6? So the second difference is increasing by 6. So this is 9, 13, 19, and 2 plus 6 is 25. So this is called a quadratic pattern. That's not the question. We want to find the rule for difference of the two numbers and they have given you the hint consecutive numbers consecutive terms follow each other example the fifth and the sixth term so this is two and nine are consecutive terms 22 9 and 22 are consecutive and so on 17th and 18th are consecutive and you can use n and n plus one to express consecutive terms. Okay, so we want to do it by algebra, so it's not by numbers. Okay, so let me cancel the whole thing. So if the first number, so this is how you start, let one number, let one number in the sequence, in the, in the sequence, uh, let one number in the sequence be this number, which is 3n squared. So we are generalizing this. So 3n squared minus 2n plus 1. So if that's one number, as in a general form, the consecutive number, the consecutive number to write in terms of n would be what? This would be 3 times... In place of n, you have to put n plus 1. 3 times n plus 1 squared 
minus 2 times n plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so now how can you write the difference? So, we can say the difference the, between the two consecutive terms, difference would be this minus this, would be 3 times n plus 1 squared minus 2 times n plus 1 plus 1. So this is the next consecutive term minus the original term. The first term is 3n squared minus 2n plus 1. So now you have to do a bit of algebra. So just you have to expand this and simplify it. So this becomes, so let me change color. So this is equal to 3 times <coughs> n plus 1 squared. I'm going to write as 3 times n plus 1 times n plus 1 minus, I'm going to expand this, so this is 2 times n minus 2 times n is minus 2n minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 and then you got a 1 here plus 1. I'm not going to do anything with this bracket, I'm going to rewrite the whole thing like this, so 3n squared minus 2n plus 1, just like that. And now, oops, I didn't have to write the 3 here. Yeah? Uh, need to use a smaller eraser, so I want to cancel this 3. 3 was not necessary here. Yeah? So this is equal to bracket. So I'm going to expand this. So this is 3 times. This is n plus 1 times n plus 1. So using foil. So this is n times n is n squared. Plus n times 1 is n plus 1 times n is n plus 1. Let's simplify this. So this is minus 2n minus 1. I'll not do anything here. So this is same thing. So let us rewrite 3n squared minus 2n plus 1. I'm just rewriting this. So now I'm going to simplify this. So this is 3 bracket n squared plus 2n plus 1 minus 2n minus 1 minus this whole thing. Okay, so that is 3n squared. It's a bit daunting to write the same thing again and again. So let's expand this now. I'm going to expand this. So this becomes 3n squared plus 6n plus 3. That means you're multiplying by 3. So 3 times n squared is 3n squared. 3 times 2n is 6n. 3 times 1 is 3 minus 2n minus 1 minus 3n squared minus 2n plus 1. So I have not done anything in the second bracket. Let's simplify this. So I'm underlined this. So this is plus 6n minus 2n. This and this are like terms. I'm going to sim simplify this. So let me change color. So this is 3n squared plus 6n minus 2n is plus 4n plus 4n plus 3 minus 1 is plus 2. Okay, so let us directly open the bracket now. So you can open directly the brackets. Minus 3n squared. This is plus 2n because this is minus and this will become minus 1. So this is let, us re, let me rewrite this. So this is 3n squared minus 3n squared plus 4n plus 2n plus 2 minus 1. So this and this gets cancelled. So you can simplify this and this. So you can write the formula for finally the difference, the rule for difference, the rule of difference would be 6n plus 1.